The next part with our introduction to trigonometric functions, we're going to take a look at uh, linear and angular speed. Uh, we have a couple formulas that we're going to have to try to remember, and we're going to use those to continue, but we're also going to need to use factor label method, or if you're in chemistry, it's called stoichiometry, but we're going to need to use conversion factors to determine the solutions to these problems. All right, so the first one that we're going to go through, it says uh, an old vinyl record player on a turntable rotates at a rate of 78 RPMs or rotations per minute. Determine the angular speed in radians per second. All right, so one of the things that we have to remember is, all right, so what is angular speed? So angular speed is denoted with what looks like a W, but that's lowercase omega, and lowercase omega is equal to the radians that we've traveled through, that we've rotated through, over some unit of time. All right, so right now what we have is we have 78 revolutions per one minute. And I need to figure out, instead of revolutions per minute, I need it to be in, uh, let's see, in this case, radians per second. So that means our denominator is going to have to change. And instead of being in minutes, it's going to have to change into seconds. And then we have it in revolutions, but we don't want it in revolutions. We want it to be in radians. So let's do the first conversion of eliminating the revolutions. So that means we have to have a conversion somehow where one revolution is written in form or in the terms of radians. Well, one revolution, if I go all the way around the circle, that's going to be 2 pi radians. So here's our first conversion, 2 pi radians. And then we need to go through and we have to get rid of minutes, and we want our denominator to be seconds. So therefore, all right, well, one minute here, we'll get rid of this minute, and that's going to be 60 seconds. So I'm just going to change colors because it makes it a little bit easier to see the different things go by. So I've got a revolution here and that revolution. I've got minute here and then that minute they go away. So the nice thing is now I have everything written in form of you know, whatever we're looking for, which in this case is number of radians per second. And again, this is the angular speed. Angular speed is different than linear speed. So let's look over here. Let's actually, we should have talked about this first, but if I put like a penny here and I put a penny here and I say to you, which one is going faster? Someone could say, hey, you know what? Um, they're going the exact same speed. And someone else might say, oh, come on, give me a break. The one on the outside is definitely going faster. Well, it depends on which speed we're talking about. If this is angular speed, they're going to rotate through the same angle at the exact same rate. But if we're talking distance over time, then yes, the one on the outside is going faster than the one on the inside. So angular speed is, again, how much of an angle do I rotate through over a certain amount of time? So then if this is my angle, then these two are going at the exact same speed. But if we're talking about the distance, like here's S, the length of the arc subtended, by the angle and then here's like s2 you can clearly see that this distance is greater which means if it's going the same amount of time then this is traveling faster in a linear sense than this one is all right so i digress all right back to the problem at hand so now when i go through and simplify this then that means i've got uh, 78 times 2 pi and i'm going to divide that by 60 so now and this is in seconds so I need my handy dandy calculator. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm just going to type it in as it is. So 78 um, times 2 pi, and then, um, all right, why can't I put that in my pi button? So 78 times 2 pi, and then we'll go through and divide that by 60. And I end up with then my solution being 8 point, it goes in many different decimal places, I'll give it two decimal places, 8.17 radians per second. Okay, so we've just converted something from rev, uh, rotations per minute or revolutions, because a rotation is also a revolution. 
converted from ro rotations per minute to radians per second. All right, next example. This was kind of interesting when I was looking up different problems, but this says a satellite is rotating around the Earth at 0.25 radians per hour at an altitude of 242 kilometers above the Earth. If the radius of Earth is 6,378 kilometers, determine the linear speed of the satellite in kilometers per hour. Okay, so I've got to pull out the information here. So I see this, this 0.25 radians per hour. So that is then omega, which is my angular speed of 0 0.25 radians per hour. And then we've got 242 kilometers above the Earth. And then we've got the radius of the Earth is 6,000 378 kilometers. All right, so now we've got to go and look at our other formulas we have, and to determine the linear speed, it's equal to the radius times the angular speed. Now, this looks like a V, but actually it's the Greek letter nu, and just like this is the Greek letter uh, omega. So we're trying to figure out the linear speed. So we have our radius, and our radius is, we've got this 63.78 plus 242 kilometers. So then, come on, radius is equal to 6,620 uh, kilometers. So I'm going to substitute my values in, 66.20 times 0 0.25 radians per hour. All right, so now I'm going to multiply that by 0.25, and it says, all right, so fine, then the speed, the linear speed, is equal to 1,655 kilometers in one hour. All right, and that's how fast this is going, all right? So the, the process by which, and, and obviously some of the problems that we're going to do are going to be a little bit more complex, but the idea is to get you to understand what are the players in the formulas that we're going to use, and what does it mean by angular speed versus linear speed. So again, I hope this was uh, helpful for you to go through and, and see a couple of basic examples of linear and angular speed. Uh, if this was helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to the Cherahoe uh, Pre-Calculus page on YouTube and uh, have this, yourself a great rest of your day.